All right, we're back. Um, I am uh, picking up where I left off, just kind of following these drones. And I'm obviously needed to go to my last frame here. Same thing we did before. We're changing all of these rotations to make sure that that looks good. And then let's turn the star guide off for a second and let's take a look at what we've created. Okay, we've got half the star done. Cool. Now we're moving on to the next row. We started at 450, we're going to 500, and we are keyframing row three completely, grabbing the transfer tool. So we, we turn off the star guide. Well, we need it on. We've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're here. All right, um, so that makes sense to start wide. Oops, I'm not doing that. I need to go to 700 and start here, frame it here. Oops, it's wrong. Frame it. Boom. It's kind of satisfying actually, you know, it takes time, but it's satisfying to know that you are like, you know exactly where this sucker's going. And then like before even checking it, um, let's just jump right into our next row at 550. We'll close this guy. We'll keyframe all these. Oops. And then we'll go, um, I got one, two, three, four, five. So we gotta start there. To 750, keyframing it. We have one, two, three, four, five, five. There. 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 Oh. There. Oh shit. Sorry, shoot. Now I gotta go back. So when I, the reason I said that is because I didn't do this prop. I didn't do this on the on the way here. Okay. Cool. And then obviously zero it out. Zero that sucker out. Let's make sure I did that with row three. Did I do that with row three? I did not do that with row three. 700th frame. Okay. So, let's just kind of watch what we have so far as if we're watching a show. Um, I'm gonna turn off the circle guide, turn off my circle, start. Here, I need my star guide going as well. And I just want to do render all frames real quick. Let's see what happens. Starting from the very beginning. All right, we've got our drones. They are ascending into orbit here, into pattern. So far so good. Speed's good. And then we're gonna start getting our first row at 400. It's gonna start flying up into formation. Obviously I haven't used, you know, any kind of coloring or anything like that, but we'll, we'll talk about that next. And there's obviously a lot of different ways to do effects. Okay, so here goes row one. Shortly behind row two is going. Row three. collision there but we'll have to go take a look at it 
flew right through it. Cool. All right, so, you know, real time. Let's look at the speed. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And obviously, you know, these you wouldn't see these light points as they got into formation. This would be um, something that's frozen from here, that's that's hidden from you. And then, like the lights go on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, that's I can't complain with that. I think that's again, it might be a little bit time consuming, but now this is where the inspection part comes. So if we're looking in from the top, um, we're going to notice there's definitely going to be some spots where we need to worry. Okay, I know those altitudes are different, those altitudes are different, but it's really when they get to the formation that I have to worry about. Now let's actually go to the uh, front view here. Let's take a look at where we could have some problem points. Right there. So, if we go look in that overlap, we absolutely have a problem. So, how do we fix it? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's find that drone. Let's go down here. Let's find the more problematic one is going to be that one, actually. So, it's heading towards it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out. And now I've avoided my collision. It's still pretty close. So maybe what I'll do now is I'll tuck it in a little bit. That might have created another problem. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, so I'll just do the same thing up here a little bit further out. Yeah, that'll work. Um, same thing here. I don't like the way this one... Actually, you know, I'm totally doing this wrong. What we have on our side is we have a lot more on the Z. So what I need to do is where that collision is, I'm just gonna bring it out here. And now we got no worries of a collision. Until of course, the end there. Same thing for these drones that are flying through the formation, like, Let's take this guy and let's bring him out there. And then the same thing with this one, let's bring it out there. So that way they're not just like cutting through our formation here. It's kind of like looking at 8-bit graphics almost here. All right, so now it looks like they're going right in front, but they're not. They've got all that extra Z. And I wish there was another, you know, quicker way to like detect near collisions there's really not um, you know you could do like I know there's something called a, like a collision detection tag but um, you know I don't even really know what it does to be honest with you like is it gonna tell me there's a collision I, I, I know that has something to do with the constraint tag but I don't think it applies here. So, so the other cool thing you can do is, uh, and I probably should set a camera here. Set our camera view like we're a spectator, yay. Um, is, now it gets up into formation. Well, we can obviously uh, rotate this guy. So, um, and if I'm gonna do a world transform, you know we could do like a full like kind of rotation or something like that so that's pretty cool so when's it getting into its formation it's getting there let's keyframe and let's do like a full 180 to there it's gonna be pretty fast. Yeah, those guys are flying. Those things are mocking. 
So let's up that up quite a bit. Drag this guy out. That's better. All right. So now we've got a show with a little animation. Now we want some lighting effects. Well, how can we do this? Um, first thing we probably want to do is um, you know, once they go up, when they start taking off right about here, that's when I want to have a visibility tag. Um, or sorry, a display tag. So we'll use it and we'll keyframe it. And then we'll go forward one keyframe and we'll go to zero so that it's not seen until it all gets into formation and then it's like, okay, cool, boom. And then it's 100%, boom, all right? So that's, that's gonna be our magic. Obviously, sometimes this thing's just annoying to work with. Let's go in and take a look. Why is that keyframe not 100? Okay, so go up and then we got visibility. Well, the next thing we want to do is in our material, we're going to put this on just our whole drone show. And let's say like our standard light's going to be like a blue, blue light, blue luminance. I might have to put these on all my individual. bad I can't tell if that's blue or not am I is that even working yeah okay it's working let's give it a little more blue color just so I can actually see okay cool all right so now when this thing turns on we'll have it blue and then we can just keyframe the color so we can like I mean you could do a shading like a strobing effect or we could just like you know, so I mean, we could do like, here's this color, and then you know, there we go to like more of like a green color and keyframe it. Um, we also have to do the luminance, make that green and keyframe it. I didn't do that here. Luminance back to blue, and then so it kind of like slowly turns to another color and then a few frames forward maybe we go to like a really cool purple luminance and color so we're kind of like strobing around different colors and then let's go forward even further you get the idea Okay, so that's cool, I mean, that's simple enough, right? I mean, that's not, that's just changing colors using the light on the drone to change colors. We could also um, then get into editing with like effectors, right? So there's a way, um, and I probably won't do it in this tutorial, but um, there is a way to use, I think it's called a shader. Um, is it it's a multicolor shader um, anyway I'm drawing a blank right now but I'll come back um, and make another tutorial to show you how you could do something like a strobe effect where you know the lights are off and then they're on as we kind of wash across this formation and there's actually a good tutorial out there that I've seen of a guy who did LED lighting which maybe I'll just refer to that but anyway thanks for watching this long tutorial I hope this helped and uh, comment if you have any questions 
and uh, yeah, look, look forward to hearing from you.